This video is all about projected curves. Although we have lots of great tools in Inventor for creating 2 and 3D curves, sometimes the easiest way to create predictable parametric 3D curves is to create the curves in 2D and then project them onto a 3D surface. Let's begin by talking about projected curves. I have here some curves and a surface I'd like to project them onto. Now all of these tools are going to be found inside 3D sketches. So I'll begin by coming up here to sketch and create 3D sketch. The tools that we're going to be looking at in this video are here. Let's begin with a projector surface. I'll select projector surface. I'll select this as my face. And then for curves, begin by selecting these. You can see that we can also choose a direction. By default, Inventor is picked straight up and down. I'm going to choose this axis I've prepared here. When I'm done, I'll choose apply. So we can see how Inventor has projected that onto the curve in line with the axis we created. Now let's try this again, but I'm going to choose a slightly different option. I'll choose this again as my face. I'll choose this set of curves. This time I'm going to choose the project to closest point option. Now you can see we no longer have a direction. I'll choose apply. And you can see how the shape has become slightly elongated, slightly stretched. If I hit cancel here and finish this sketch, I can create a couple of axes that might help you to see what's going on. So I'll go from this point to the same point on our original sketch. I'll right click and choose repeat work axis. And I'll come again from this point down to this point here. You can see how Inventor has taken the shortest route from the 2D sketch to the 3D face to create our curve. I'll just hit Ctrl Z to back up and remove these axes. And I'll come back to the 3D sketch, double click to edit and I'll choose project to surface again. I'll choose the same face, and this time I'll choose this set of curves. Let's just make sure I've got all those curves. Let's take a look at the final option, which is wrap to surface. Now this time when I choose apply, we'll see the curve has been laid down onto the surface. And the thing I want to make really clear to you here, if I choose the measure tool, measure this line, we'll find it's 25 millimeters. I'll right click and choose restart, measure the same line on the curve, and we can see that is also 25 millimeters. So although the shape has been deformed to fit the curve, it's actually the same size. So if you're particular about the size of these for a slot, then this is the tool you need to use. One last thing, this tool is only available on curved surfaces. So that sections through cones or cylinders. This won't be available to you if you build a surface from a spline. Okay, I'm gonna finish up with this sketch and we're gonna move on to talk about silhouette curves. So let me pull down some geometry I've prepared for you earlier. Okay, so we have this sort of slightly asymmetric shape we're gonna take a look at. And maybe we even pulled this shape in from another modeler. So we've got no history here at all. And we're looking to find a parting line for a plastic extrusion. So the tool we're gonna to use is also in 3D Sketch. So I'll create a new 3D Sketch and I'll choose Silhouette Curve. Now I have two options here. I need to choose a body to work on and a direction. Now I have some axes already set up down here, so I'm gonna begin by choosing this height axis, and I'll choose apply, and you can see what happens. Invent will create a profile curve around the extents of this shape. So that's fairly straightforward. Let me try this again, I'll choose the body again, and next time for my direction, I'll choose this one that's slightly on an angle. I'll choose apply, and you can see how we found the extents of that shape on that angle. I'd like to show you how we might use that, so I'll just delete this first one. Once we've found the parting line that we want to use, we could then finish up out the sketch, create a surface patch from that geometry, choose apply, and then we could split that part using our new surface patch as our split tool, split body, choose apply, and then we can choose move bodies. I'm going to limit this to the one direction, and we'll choose our height axes again, and I'll choose apply to that. So we can see how we can find our part in line and create a split, and then we could continue to shell or whatever else we need to do to this part. Let me just turn that boundary patch off. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna talk about the final way of creating projected curves in Inventor. This is intersection curves. So in this case, perhaps we know what the shape is that we wanna produce in height section, and perhaps we know what the shape wanna produce is in plan section. But we know that there's a 3D curve it's the combination of these two curves, and we don't know quite how to build that. Well, there's a great tool inventor for helping us work this out. 
Again, we're going to start by creating a 3D sketch. We're going to choose intersection curve right here. And we'll just choose the two curves that we want to find the intersection of. And we'll choose OK. So you can see how Inventor creates a curve there that is the combination of this curve and this curve, which now bends in two directions. This is a really, really handy tool for creating an edge like that. So let me just finish up by turning on this sketch here. I can turn off these two because I'm finished with those. And we'll create a loft. We'll choose surface loft. And we'll choose these two curves as our inputs. I'll choose OK. You can see how that's allowed us to create a really complex curve there from very simple 2D geometry.